Hey everyone, it's Deacon082, and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer, the after game. We're up here at Resort Gorgeous in this episode because there is uh, something I missed here last time. We can actually sneak through uh, this little gap in the rocks. I looked last time and I didn't think we could get through there any farther, so because I'm a completionist in this episode, we're going to start off by finishing up the area over by Resort Gorgeous because there is also a cave here on the map. I actually looked at the town map to know there was a cave, and I'm like, wait a minute. So we go up here, and then I see, well, there is a opening in the rocks, and we can actually get through to this cave. All right, so down here, this is the entrance to a cave, and this is Lost Cave. So we'll probably get lost in here, just pointing that out. Speaking of being lost, there's a hiker who wants to battle us. He thinks this must be an ancient ruin, so he's, uh, like, jizzing in his pants over here because they seem to love ruins and that kind of stuff. Cast form is gonna use Sunny Day, which is gonna transform it into its fire form, which means we can hit super effectively for the same amount of damage because our attacks also get weakened. Moltres in Sunny Day. Okay, uh... We'll just use Hydro Pump, see how much it does. It's super effective, but it does as much damage as it would have done before because Sunlight halves our damage and super effective doubles it. So, uh, we'll just keep using Hydro Pump because it's being pretty effective. There we go. Liz grows to 58. That's a lot of experience. And next up, Registeel. And because of uh, pressure, we actually don't have any, uh, Hydro Pumps left, so I'm I'm gonna have to switch out for this. Uh, let's see. Ricardo and Low Kick should work pretty well, however, it keeps using Iron Defense, so this probably won't do very much. That's still quite a lot of damage with its... Its defense is now at a maximum, and we still do probably a little over a fourth HP and damage with it. Superpower Critical Hit, dang. Okay, but low kick finishes off. That should do it for this, and so Lost Cave. Uh, well, we can go up, and this is the same hiker. Maybe the number of boulders is a hint. Well, uh, up takes us here, so we gotta go down, apparently. Hmm. Okay, so I don't really get Lost Cave. But, the Pokemon in here, well, we have an Abra, and this thing is going to want to teleport, so, uh, we got one shot at an Abra with Ultra Ball. That caught it? Wow. I'm surprised. We get an Abra using its ability to read minds, it will sense impending danger and teleport to safety. And this could be a valuable member of our team for later on, because, uh, this is the generation where Alkazam is actually good. Because it's... Some of its moves it can get, like, the elemental moves are still special. So, yeah, I named it Index. I have not uh, watched that show yet, but I'm going to at some point. Alright, so, I don't think I see the gimmick behind Lost Cave at this point. The number of boulders is a hint, but, uh, let's go in again, see if going in resets anything. Oh! There's caves on the right and left sides, too. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm blind. Uh, we'll put more repels up, too. I can't believe I didn't notice that. So, the number of boulders. Here we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't know, but uh, we have a Lats Incense in here. And now we're back where we started. So, it looks like we have to go right to this room. Uh, there are more boulders on the left. Okay. So all logic is thrown out the window when trying to get through Lost lost Cave, apparently. And I did see, yes, somebody posted in a comment of how to get through Lost Cave, and I, I read that comment, but unfortunately I don't remember what happened, or the directions. But yeah, like I said, this is very similar to Turnback Cave from, uh, from 
I am really at a loss for words right now. Really similar to Turnback Cave where you get Giratina in Diamond and Pearl and that might be where you get something in Platinum but Giratina's not there. And Turnback Cave was fun because you had to like use the pillar rooms to get through there and you could like keep going through to get uh, items and stuff. And I actually had a lot of fun with that place. So, Lost Cave is pretty much just a memory puzzle, it seems. You want to go through every combination of stuff to get through the end of Lost Cave. And I guess that's what we'll be doing. So we're making progress because there's a trainer here. Which way did we come into this room? I think we came from the top, but then again it doesn't matter. Let's go left. Okay, back to the start. So we gotta go right, up, down. Uh, right. Alright, try again. Right, up, down, down. Alright. I don't get the bit about the number of boulders, though. So if someone can explain that to me, that might help. Right, up, down, down. Right. Progress, even though this room looks the same. Let's go down again. Uh, back to the start. Right, up, down, down, right, left. This is this is like playing Simon. I don't have any notes I'm looking at, so I gotta hope my commentary doesn't distract me. Let's go left again. Alright. Try it again. Right, up, down, down, right, left, up. Tries again. Right, up, down, down, right, left, down. Down? Alright, so at least, at least, I guess we're getting one step further every time. Now, what could be at the end of this place, though? I understand why it's called Lost Cave now. Which way did I go after that left? I think I went down. Yes, I did. Um, right. Um, okay. I'm feeling down. No. I don't know... I don't know which feeling I should trust here. Crap, which way was it? It was downright up. Ooh! What, what do you intend to do with me? Who is this girl? This, this is Selfie, the girl who has the house there. So it looks like we've made it through uh, Lost Cave, and uh, I don't know how I did that, to be honest. Uh, that was just 100% guesswork through that whole process. But it works. Uh, here's an Umbreon. Umbreon's difficult to deal with because uh, Umbreon's not very heavy, so low kick won't do very much. So I'm just gonna hit it hard. We'll try Thunder if we can hit. Nice. That does a pretty good amount of damage. Paralyzes it, which paralyzes us, so that didn't work too well. Thunder Punch. Oh, now we're paralyzed. Synchronize is like static on steroids. It's just so useful, because if you get... Imagine the opponent's face if they don't know about... Uh, about Synchronize, and they try to use Toxic on your Umbreon. And then you just give them toxic poison. It's just awesome. Uh, let's try Thunder. This Umbreon's doing quite a lot to us, and that full restore didn't help our cause. Hopefully she doesn't have another one, because we're about to finish her off. About there, that'll do it. Okay. That will get Fluff to 58. Moving right along. Okay, so. I'm so glad that you happened here. I grew rather bored of walking and I'm really fatigued. May I ask you to take me home from here? Well, that was easy. I thought we would have to navigate our way out of that place. We may go now? That's anticlimactic. What do you have in your house? Oh, do I know you from... We just rescued you like 10 seconds ago. She's bored. She wishes to see a Pokemon, a darling Iggly buff. Wow, I did not expect this to happen in a randomizer, but we actually have one of those. So, 
Back to Five Island. To the Pokemon Center. I knew Iggs would come in handy at some point. And why is it healing our egg? You notice there were six Pokeballs that went on the healing thing. Well, one of them was our egg. And speaking of egg, well... Man, actually, we'll keep the egg and put Francis in the PC, because we don't need a Strength of Rock Smash right now. At least I hope we don't need him in Lost Cave, because I might go back in there to figure out what exactly was there. Um, we can't really do anything with that Repel. Dang it, I didn't make him. I didn't mean to make land there. Okay, but your darling Eggly buff. Haha, see resemblance to you. Wait, what? You want us to leave now? Who is Sebastian? Wait, where did the, where did he come from? He just kind of magically appeared. It's like, I mean, if he was on the same space as the window up there, I could see him jumping in through the window. Okay, um, I sincerely thank you for pleasing Lady Selfie. We get a luxury ball for showing her that Iggly buff. I'm just gonna take a guess and say that... A Celio. Okay, so it seems like she's going to ask to see Pokemon, a different Pokemon, every time you come. It may be completely random, or it may be a Pokemon that you've caught already. If it's a Pokemon that we've caught in our Pokedex, then it means we can always, uh, manage. But, uh, we don't actually have a Celio because we evolved it, so I can't really do that right now. I just want to go through Lost Cave one more time to see if there were, like, items on alternate paths or anything, if I can remember my way through here. I think I went up from there. Okay, there's another item in the back here that's a silk scarf. And I'm going to guess that's all the stuff here in Lost Cave. If there's anything else, uh, feel free to point it out and I'll possibly come back or I could look, look it up myself in a guide, which I'll probably do even before then. But anyway, we're back on Five Island and our egg is hatching. So that's uh, pretty cool. I don't know if the egg Pokemon are randomized. And apparently not, so we get another Togepi. And we're naming this Togepi Emma after the Togepi in my Crystal version run that lasted so long, made it to the Elite Four before finally losing. So that worked pretty well. Uh, we'll get Francis back. We don't really need Emma anymore. Uh, we don't really need Iggs anymore either, so Iggs, not Iggs, you gotta have your first spot in the PC back. And who else can we take as our sixth? Uh, well, we got, uh, still haven't decided who I'm gonna use for the Elite Four, but I suppose we'll get Indets out and see what we're gonna do with Indets. We could possibly evolve it right now, but the thing is, the problem with, uh, Abra because it only knows teleport, all of its other moves are not level up moves. Well, they are level up moves and they're going to come really late. So, that's kind of a problem. Wait, what am I even saying? No, they come a lot earlier than where we are, obviously. So we can't really go back to get the items. But here we are on Sits Island. Sits Island, nothing here that young people would like. Okay, we're off to seven. Nah, just kidding. I like the music over here on the islands because the music on like two island or something was Blackthorn City of Zalia Town. This is the Violet City music and this is Shitbag in the uh, Pokemon Center. It looks like it's impossible to get all the Pokemon by hanging around just these parts. Maybe there are Pokemon we don't know about somewhere far away. Well, if Shitbag can't do it, no one can, just like what Gary Oak's cheerleader said in the very first episode. Gary, Gary, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can, obviously. So this guy says there's something hidden on the island. What could that something hidden on the island be? Find out next time. Well, there's Water Path, uh, old lady in the Pokemon Center. Oldest ever Elite Four member, Agatha. Well, there aren't many choices. The only other Elite Four member seems old. 
Well, Glacia seems like she's about 50, but that's not the point. Uh, next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we're gonna pick up this Lever Berry, and next time we're gonna explore Sits Island and look to see if there's anything hidden on the island, like that guy in the Pokemon Center said. So, see you guys next time.